Welcome back to The Forge, guys. I'm Vulcan, and today we're going to be taking a look at Project Gorgon. Now, Project Gorgon is your old-school MMO. Now, I say old-school. When I say old-school, I'm not talking about World of Warcraft vanilla. I'm talking about EverQuest, Ultima, Asheron's Call, those style of games where it's just a giant sandbox. The world is yours. There's unique skills. There's no classes. It's all skill-based. You go out. If you're interested in learning about magic, you become a mage through that. If you want to just be a gatherer, somebody who collects mushrooms to make potions and become a mycologist, you go out you do that. If you want to be a bounty hunter, this game is all about the player. It is all about making choices that you want to make and becoming what you want to become. Now, I'm not entirely sure if Project Gorgon is going to be the final name, though it has been in development for quite some time, always under that moniker. So, to me, I imagine they would just keep it as that and let it ride out. Now, the game itself. Um, the website got updated, and we got this nice artwork. Um, I really like what they're doing with the place. So, one thing to keep in mind about this game is it's being developed by a husband and wife plus a few other uh, consulting uh, contractors. I'll say that. Um, consul consultants. Jeez, I can't get that word out. Uh, consultants. Um, they're being developed uh, by a team, small team, a uh, little indie studio essentially called Elder Game Studios. Now, the individuals actually devving the game are a husband and wife uh, duo, and they both worked on Asheron's Call, EverQuest, uh, things like that. So that is where that theme comes from. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, the graphics in this game are not anything great, okay? They're not phenomenal. They are not new age. They are not clean. They're not crisp. It reminds me of EverQuest 2, probably, um, that, type of, uh, that type of setup. But the gameplay is so good. It is so good. It's so refreshing. And... What's so refreshing about it? Well, just taking a look at the website, right? You got an immersive world, unique experiences, community. Now, the unique experiences thing, this is absolutely true. From what I've played so far, which hasn't been too much, I've probably put maybe 20 hours into the game, 25 hours. But the randomly generated loot is legit. It is real. So you get a sword that drops from a spider. Um, because it drops from a spider, it has a higher chance of having poison on it. But it might have... It has totally random stats, random perks, and because it's literally an adventure type of game, right? So let's say you had like a white knight, a holy knight, that was down in this tomb and he was fighting venomous spiders and he died, he perished. You might find a paladin's blade down there that has some sort of holy um, adaptation or addition to it. And that's the phenomenal thing is there's always a story kind of built into all of these. And the thing too is this game, um, they're not afraid to kind of, I'll say, go overboard on abilities and spells and things like that. You'll find stuff, you're like, wow, that seems really overpowered or really unique, really cool, and it is. It's phenomenal, and you have to work up towards it, you know, you have to work on your skills, things like that. But the game itself has been pretty well put together so far. Now, there's not a lot of content, um compared to like your World of Warcraft or your Guild Wars 2 or your original Guild Wars. So as you come into this game, don't expect, oh, this world's going to be huge, packed to the brim with content, and I'll be able to do things. No. No. However, they are doing a ton, 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 ton of content patches. And this most recent patch, it, it added on, I believe, another, not landmass, but another like zone, um, world bosses. Just earlier... I was getting my ass handed to me down in this tomb. And these tombs are like old school MMOs. They're dungeons essentially, but they're not instanced. They're public. So you're running through there. You see other players you know, down there. They're either struggling or they're thriving. Um, and I ran down there and all these spiders were everywhere. And there was, one, there was a boss in the center called a mega spider. And it was obviously a you know, a dungeon boss. So I wasn't going to tangle with that because I wasn't even close to, you know, high enough. Well, I'm fighting these spiders and I'm starting to, you know, I'm starting to lose. Like these things are starting to hit really damn hard. And uh, all of a sudden these other two players show up and they help me out. You know, they bail me out. We uh, kind of just started rolling together and we just rolled through the rest of that dungeon. 
um, wiping stuff out. Then we went back, and this other really high-level player showed up, and we ended up killing that Mega Spider, and I got a few pieces of uh, rare gear off of it, which was really cool, just a, a chest plate and a helmet. So it was just phenomenal experience um but that's the type of things in this game that are really good and it's really kind of changed my perspective a little bit on how much visually i how, how much importance i place visually on games and i've always been a big gameplay person but visuals still to me i mean if it's like black and white like stick figures i can't do that but if it's something like this and the gameplay is good i'm in so that's probably another thing we need to chat about um, the game itself, right? So there is no handholding in this game. It is absolutely all 100%. Um, you figure it out yourself. You figure it out yourself. For instance, you're, you know, bopping around. You find a chest on the ground. The chest says, um, gives you a random riddle and that's it. You solve the riddle, the riddle takes you to a place where you get some keys, you talk to somebody, because the key might have like some initials carved into it, you look around, you find somebody that has the same initials, you say, hey, I found this key, they're like, whoa, that's my key that my grandpa used to have, but it looks like it's broken, it's missing one of the teeth, um, you know, here's where I last saw him, so you go and you look, and you, oh, you find the old man in his grave, but he had been reincarnated through a, a necromancer. So you kill him, you kill the necromancer, you loot the old man's body, you find a tooth. Okay, well you can't just connect the tooth and the key back together. So you go, you find a blacksmith, the blacksmith manages to repair the key, you take the key back to the chest, you open the chest up, and it has some rare loot, some heirlooms, it has some like little uh, things written on the bottom to notate, you know, hey, this is uh, former grandpa's stuff. So it's stuff like that, you have to, read quest text you have to use some guesswork you have to just really get you know get into the game and i think something like this is going to be really really good so i wanted to put this out here guys i mean if you look at it all reviews with 487 very positive 19 mixed reviews as of late um, that probably came after the most recent update but this game has always been touted as something that was really fun um, something really exciting and uh, kind of a harken back to the old ways of um, MMOs. So I've been enjoying it. I plan on uh, working this into my rotation. There are world bosses. There are raids. There's quite a few people that were online. Um, before I made this video, I jumped on. I say quite a few, right? I'm not talking about World of Warcraft or a AAA publisher game, but for an indie studio that has a couple developers behind it and you have three or four hundred people online, that's pretty great. Um, now there's one capital, Serbial, I believe. Um, so you go there and you can hang out and you see other players and other people and you can interact with them. So either way, guys, I would highly urge you to give it a shot. It is an early access game. Um, sometimes they do sales. I did not pay 40 bucks for it. Um, I think I got it when it was at $20 on sale. But anyway, picked it up. It was awesome. And uh, just wanted to get it out there for you guys. Anyway. In the comments below, let me know if you've tried the game and if it's something that is exciting to you or something you really enjoyed. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Until next time, guys. Peace.